When new indie devs ask me how best to publicize their game, actually something that happened, they say to me, Angus, in your long and storied experience as a games critic, how best should we publicize our game? And I say, when new indie devs ask me how best to publicize their game, the most important step in publicizing your new indie game is to be able to say in a single sentence why your game differs from those of the other billion new indie devs asking me, Angus, in your long and storied experience as a games critic, how best should we publicize our game? And then they go off and make a generic adventure puzzler because that's what's in right now. Eh, you work with what you're given. Two such new indie devs making an adventure puzzle game are Barrett Mika and Morgan Wyan of Lucky Paws Studios. I actually interviewed them back in July 2013 because even at Kickstarter stage, their game could be summed up in a sentence. Hell, three words if you're feeling miserly. Homesick is beautiful. And I don't mean the usual games critic misty-eyed stare at the latest stylized pixel art beautiful, I mean Crytek beautiful. And I don't mean free-to-play financial failure Crytek beautiful, I mean crisis Crytek beautiful. Homesick has textures of the highest fidelity. Textures layered dynamically to perform at all angles. Textures that you can rub your face in with depth I have never seen on a 2D surface. It's something I haven't encountered before. A game which can call exclusively on texture work to tell a story and set the scene. I mean, Homestick has other stuff, and I'm coming to the other stuff. But for now, I'm drooling over art like a boarhound in the Tate. You can near enough smell the rubble and sense the splinters lurking on fragmented fixtures. Everything is grey and uniform and angular, and that tells you something. You're in some kind of municipal building, an apartment complex or a hospital, something like that. Somewhere once populated by many people, now stern and crumbling. Basically, you're in Glasgow. It's a building that would fail the hell out of a health and safety inspection, but it's one that you're not prepared to walk away from. Dirt and decay are countered by sunbeams, swirling bokeh highlights and drifting petals. Your camera sweeps in slow, cinematic pans. Too many games tell you what's happening. Normally quest texts would cut in at this point to tell you, you are nostalgic now, and you'll enjoy it if you know what's good for you. The strictly visual side of Homesick, supported by a soundtrack which is mournful but kind, makes you feel achingly nostalgic, and you'll want to discover why. In the discovery, Homesick sticks to a tradition, the classic formula of encounter roadblock, find objects, combobulate objects into roadblock bypassing thingam is themed around water and pale blue flowers which, one suspects, are central to your undiscovered story. These puzzles are compelling enough if you enjoy the genre, but in sticking to tradition, Lucky Paws open the door to traditional flaws. Homesick's mechanical hook involves transitioning to a far darker dream world to bypass blinding halls impassable during the day. Homesick doesn't bother to tell you this. In the opening puzzle, you find a key, open a door, pick up a bucket, fill the pail, water the plants, admire the blossom, and then the next logical link in the so far clear causal chain is take a nap? Why? There are subtle hints in the environment for the exceptionally attentive, but because this step is a game-specific motif, people seeking to apply real-world logic might stumble. Now after your first visit to the land of cheese dreams, it's obvious what homesick wants of you, and you become attuned to its more subtle nudges. But beforehand, I didn't pick up on its hints. Lucky Paws will have to find a way to introduce the mechanic more obviously without punctuating the serenity of the setting. I do love what Homesick has to offer. It's a visual storyteller to rival the likes of Dark Souls, and anyone with the slightest appreciation for digital art and classic challenges should pick it up come release. But if it's to be remembered in a resurgent style for more than its admittedly very pretty face, it'll have to keep a careful eye on the genre pitfalls.